Thank you for joining this presentation of my book, Silencing a Whistleblower, The Story of Hypocrisy. For 10 years, I had the privilege to be the Managing Director of Transparency International. TI is widely seen as a world leader on anti-corruption and whistleblower protection. Unfortunately, with its board elected at the end of 2014, the organization experienced an ethical breakdown. For two years, I sought to address conflict of interest, abuse of power, and organizational capture with my superiors in the board. This was in vain. In 2017, I submitted a whistleblower complaint on these issues to TI. In contrast to its policy, TI treated the whistleblower allegations against its leadership as a dispute between the organization and the whistleblower, a case to be settled. As such, it did not investigate the content of the allegations, but used tactical means and loopholes in German whistleblower protection laws to shoot the messenger. For years, TI has led global campaigns against such actions and legal loopholes. Throughout its history, TI has called out the abuse of entrusted power for private gain as corruption and fought against it with all its might. Yet it turned a blind eye to its leadership doing systematically exactly that over several years. How could this have happened? TI's whistleblower policies and principles became obsolete as they were not embedded in a robust ethical system. TI's ethics lacked rigorous checks and balances, truly independent scrutiny and full public accountability. Moreover, when confronted with personal wrongdoing, the TI leadership meticulously avoided being investigated and simply countered that TI was leading integrity around the world. Instead, it framed the whistleblower as mentally ill and untruthful. In stark contradiction to its policies, principles and public advocacy, TI privately asserted that the submission of a whistleblower complaint was unlawful conduct and sought to prosecute me for that. The TI leadership systematically used hypocrisy and in doing so raided the moral capital of TI as for themselves to act as if untouchable. Furthermore, when tasked to deal with TI's ethical problems, 36 of its donors and NGO peers did not hold TI to account. Over time, they too became instrumental to TI's cover-up of wrongdoing and whistleblower retaliations. Most importantly, this story illustrates the immense value of whistleblowing. If the whistleblower allegations were not squashed by TI, its donors and NGO peers, much of the damages that occurred to the organization and to individuals could have been prevented years ago. If anything, these years have dramatically strengthened my belief in the positive power of whistleblowing, if truly independently protected. I have also experienced what happens if that is not the case. This story 
began with the breakdown of ethics and transparency in the board of TI. In the end, it is a story of abuse of power, cover-up and hypocrisy. From the world, TI demands transparency. Yet it acts with opacity. It commands integrity, yet acts with deceit. It insists on accountability, yet acts with impunity. Over the last five years, I have learned firsthand what happens in the absence of truly independent and robust ethics. Honesty tends to become absolute. Policies tend to become window dressing. Conflicts of interest tend to become self-benefiting opportunities. And power tends to become ruthless. Since 2017, the TI leadership has squashed 12 whistleblower complaints and ensured that none of the allegations implicating itself were ever investigated independently. Sadly, that left me in the end only two options. Be silent and become part of the cover-up or speak up and go public. I now hope that this book will contribute to positive change in TI, to the better protection of whistleblowers and to a greater appreciation of the immense value of truly independent, robust ethical systems. I thank you very much for your time and your interest.